Introducing the SXGA 1012 SD OLED driver board from MRA Digital. This driver board consists of actually two boards, one board on the bottom and the other one on top. Okay. As you can see, this one also has mounting ears on the side so the board can be affixed to some kind of enclosure. On the back side, you can see the input connectors. The connector in the middle is the micro HDMI, which can be used to apply the power as well as configuration. And there's also a micro, U a micro HDMI, which can be used to apply the input video. On the top of the board, there's a very small LED. It's a green LED. And that LED is used to indicate if there's a problem or if the board is working okay. So the first step is to attach the OLED. So once the OLED is attached, it should look like this. If you have it any other way, then there's a possibility that you will damage the driver board and the OLED. So the next step is to apply the video. So right now here's a micro HDMI, I'm actually a micro USB cable, which I'm going to plug in. And what happens as you can see that the LED is flashing. Now the LED will continue to flash until an input video is applied. Because this product is the 1012 SD, the input video should be applied to this connector. So let's apply the micro HDMI. What should happen? Let's see. Then the video should come on. There you go. So right now you're looking at a desktop image of my laptop. So I'm going to change the desktop around. There's one. Actually, I'm using an Ubuntu machine, so these are the standard desktop images. Some are a little bright. Okay. All right. You can see the blacks are really dark, very nice. And then we can go back to our test image, which is that. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually apply a video. So let's run a video um, and see how that looks. Okay. I think I need to move the video to that screen. There you go. So now we're running a video. So this is basically a movie that's being played from my laptop onto the OLED via the driver board. Now, one interesting thing with this product is that if the video is lost for any reason, what's going to happen? The LED will come back on and it will blink. In that case, that's an indication that the video has been lost. So if you want to attach the video right back you do that the same way how you did it before plug it in and shortly thereafter the video will come back as you can see we are looking at the desktop again and I can move an image actually the video back on that side of the screen and there we go so this shows all of the various options of the SXGA 1012 SD OLED driver board. There's also a configuration software that allows you to flip the image up and down or left and right. You can increase the brightness and do a few other things. Um, we are running this thing in real time with an FPGA so we can also include real time image processing for those applications that require it. 
please contact us at info at mradigital.com for more info.